In today's Your Healthy Family, we're talking about the connection between pink eye and COVID-19. And it's very important to understand right now, just because you may get a case of pink eye, that does not by itself mean you have coronavirus. Under most circumstances, no. And the suspicion when you get these other findings that are much more rare, like the loss of smell or the pink eye with the COVID virus, it's usually considered to be at risk when you've had a higher viral load or you have more of the virus in your system. Dr. John Burrow says associated with coronavirus or not. Well, pink eye is a conjunctivitis condition that when it's infectious is usually due to viruses. The, the good part about it is that it's self-limited, it goes away on its own, and it doesn't really need a treatment. Now, these viral ones can also, under rare circumstances, also have upper respiratory symptoms, such as a sore throat, which can alarm people. Now, there's other causes of the infectious pink eye, such as bacterial, that do need treatment. So it makes patients wonder, what should I do when I have problems like a red pink eye? Is there, is there a connection that we know of? Well, Ira, there has been a connection. We don't know how significant it is, but most of the time what you're going to see, of course, with the COVID infection is the sore throat, the fever, and in the more severe cases, the breathing issues. But interestingly, a Chinese ophthalmologist back in December started raising concern because he was treating some patients in the hospital with pink eye type conjunctivitis that also had significant breathing problems. When he raised this concern to the local authorities, he was shut down and told to quit doing this. Sadly, the same Chinese ophthalmologist later died in February from complications of what we now know as the coronavirus, and he was only 32 years of age. Can it be spread through the, through the tears? What do we know about that? It can be spread through the tears, but it's not to a very significant amount. However, we do know that the most common route, of course, is through respiratory droplets when you cough or you sneeze, and then it gets on your hand and you touch other objects. Pink eye is something Dr. Matt McDonald also treats frequently. So we've known for a long time that pink eye is a virus. So it literally could be any virus that causes it. And I think that's good to know so that a lot of people that get, if they get pink eye during this aren't really, really scared. If you do develop what you think might be pink eye right now. Yeah, so please call an eye doctor. A lot of eye doctors are closed right now to routine eye care, but we're still performing emergency eye, eye care and pink eye would fall under one of those things. The governor uh, issued a statewide um, support of telehealth. So we're doing a lot of things through conferences like you and I are doing right now, uh, FaceTime, anything we can do to try to help um, take care of the community. But if the pink eye is accompanied with other symptoms. <laughs> Obviously, if you're showing other symptoms, having respiratory problems and some of the other symptoms with COVID-19 and experiencing a pink eye, you should get checked out by a medical doctor. And if telehealth isn't an option for you. During this pandemic, you especially need to go to a hospital-based emergency room if you have any of the symptoms of coronavirus or have been exposed to a known contact or have traveled from other areas with uh, high risk like New York. And with those eye problems at the emergency room, there'll be an on-call ophthalmologist that can see you in person and if you're having those other symptoms of course you could be tested and treated in a safe environment for your healthy family i'm ira cronin for more on this story head to yourhealthyfamily.com